Right, time for our third and final session of the day. I'm recording this and uh, I'll post this with the other two on YouTube. So we did this morning, this afternoon, we have this one now. I only have three letters for now. Um, I have two left from this afternoon. I just found one on uh, in the group, I should say. So, Joseph will set you a new writing task tonight, and you can write them. I might have time for the session tomorrow morning. We'll see how it goes, because obviously, you know, I have a, a job as well. So, Joseph will set you a task. Is that correct, Joseph? Joseph? Hello, Joseph. Oh, it doesn't seem to have his microphone on. Well, anyway. Um, so Joseph will set you a task and uh, you can, ah, oh. hello, Joseph. Are you there? Yes, yes, I am. Hi, man. So are you going to set a fresh writing task for tomorrow? Yes, I will indeed. Okay, so. Joseph will set a, a task for um, for you later tonight, and you can have a go. We should have time for the session tomorrow, possibly late morning, when I get back from my company courses. So I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, so let's uh, get on down to business, as it were. So share turn this on chat box um, participants so what we'll do then i'll go through these letters and if you have any questions you can raise your hand electronic hand and i'll turn your microphone on or you can type your question in the chat box okay i'll just uh, Try it now so you can see it. Mm. So I'll just bring this over to here. Okay. So let's get on with it. So get this out of the way. The letter here. So is this Dr. Pina, I think. So let me see, we did this. So these are what we've done so far. Now, I will post the, the corrections uh, in the channel once we are finished. You can find both of the previous corrections also in the channel, and I'll put this one up in a moment once we have finished. So we've done Dr. Shahid, Dr. Hanan, Nurse Juliet, Dr. Pina, right, okay, so let's get on with this. Let me check the changes are on. Okay, Dr. Mateus, whose features are, which, okay, right, right. So, mm -hmm, we need auxiliary verb, which is, is possibly due. So if you're using a relative pronoun such as which, that, which, who, whom, whose, you need auxiliary verb afterwards, which is possibly due, and therefore requires your urgent attention. So you could actually make this a relative clause too, but we have which, you know, so which, there, well, sorry, who therefore requires your urgent attention, but I would probably just say and therefore requires your urgent attention. And because you know, we don't need a subordinate. This, this can be a single sentence. I mean, sorry, we've got a clause here. We don't need the third one. We can just have, uh, have two. So this whole thing becomes a relative clause, yeah? So I'm writing this letter to refer Mr. Matthias to you, you know, whose features are suggestive. So we've got a relative clause now, that's good. Now. But as I've mentioned before, I would be tempted not to split this up. 
put the requirement all of this at the start and then make it a relative clause. Instead of having one clause and a second one and the third, it's overly complicated. So I'm writing to, and um, I would change it to request your urgent assessment and management. Request your urgent assessment. Management, you don't have to put it in because it's implied. So I'm writing a set to request your Mr. Mateus. Whose features, now it's a relative clause. Very good. Whose features are suggestive of that? Uh, it's probably due to my cardio ischemia. Okay, yeah. So instead of, of splitting it into two, of having therefore, blah, 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 put it at the start. We saw a couple of letters that did this this afternoon. Yeah, what, what? yeah I'm writing to request urgent assistance. Did this one do it too? Yeah, so you can have it in a separate sentence, but I think that it's better to just have it here, you know? I am writing to request and say what it is you want exactly. Okay, that's good. Today, Mr. Mateus told my client, which was really and could email with the two things from Mr. Sutton, which negatively affects. Okay, I would put the adverb in front of your main verb here, which negatively affects or has a negative effect on but well, I wouldn't put it at the end and this seems kind of like an add-on a strange kind of a, a sentence additionally he mentioned that he could not sleep on his back these days well why not put it in why is it a separate sentence I don't know which negatively affects his exercise capacity he also, you know, make it a secondary clause. He also mentioned or two month history of deterioring you know, as, a, as well as him having sleeping problems, etc. So instead of just having this as an add on sentence, I would make it part of your main sentence. So Mr. Mateus's medical history. Uh, if you're going to, we don't really need that. If you're going to do it, just, you know, Mr. Because it's an S. You know, because it's an S, what you can do is just simply just that, Mr. Matthews Medical History. Blood control, there is one examination. Underwent infection on, in a period in 2011. Medication in clinical. Okay, on the examination. He was found overweighted. He was. You mean he was overweight, or he was found to be overweight? Now, don't do this because it looks just like notes. Don't do this because that's, they don't, examiners don't like it when you take things out of the case notes that looks like a note. Don't include that. They want proper, complete sentences. They don't, they don't want this. So he was found overweight. Well, he was found. Why is it passive? He was found to be, or he, he was, well, okay. Now, I know this examination was in the, the past, but is he still overweight now? If so, saying he was overweight then implies that he's not overweight now, but he is. He's still fat. So you've got to be, be careful here about how you uh, set the a chronology of events. Uh, upon examination, he was found to be, or he... He was overweight. You don't need found. He was found. I, I found that he was he was fat. Simply say he was overweight. And I would expand that with a body mass in index of over 30, but you know, don't just put like in note form. Bilateral ankle edema was observed. Again, you don't want you know, you don't need to be using passive all the time. You can use some active sentences too. Bilateral ankle edema was observed. This chest examination revealed. Okay, so you observed it. You conducted the examination. Additionally, ZCG to where you that account can it on the view hmm, in view of the above. That's the expression that we use in view of the above. 
has been, so he's not uh, suffering from it now. So why is it present perfect continuous? Why is it present perfect continuous? Why isn't it not present continuous? Is, is suffering. He's suffering now. He needs urgent attention now. Is suffering from biventricular heart failure? Uh, uh, and well, then, then why are you using then as a, a preposition in, in view of the above? It's my taste of those and needs. So we don't need that. Of comma, your shoes, and to say conjunction and need your urgent assessment and management. Any queries, please contact me. Okay, so not too bad, not too bad. Just a couple of minor points that I would change. Okay, we've just got a couple more and I'll open up for questions. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Thank you for seeing Mr. Matthias, whose features are consistent. Mm, good relative clause, very good. Budget assessment will be highly appreciated. Again, I don't, you know, I don't know why, why people keep using these stock memorized phrases. Highly appreciated. Well, why do you say that? Again, this is a medical professional who would do their job regardless. You know, again, they're not doing you a personal favor. So you don't have to highly or kindly appreciate it. You just ask them to do their job and they will do so. Okay. But it's up to you. It's just a matter of personal taste. I don't think it's uh, good. I, if, I certainly would not use it. That's just for your information. If I were writing a letter, unless it were a personal favor, I would not use it. I would say I would appreciate it if you could, but I wouldn't use an adverb. Okay, Mr. Mattis had been smoking, so what's this past perfect continuous? Okay, for 55 years before quitting it seven years ago. Uh, you can, I, I, I don't know why that sentence just jumps out. I would put it like something like regarding his social and medical history, then I will put it there or subsume it somewhere, not put it right at the start because it just, you know, what, where's it coming from? There's no connection, you know? So this is why having introductory expressions and phrases such as this, such as this, instead of saying, do this, do, do that, you have an introductory phrase expression. It makes it more like a letter and you can see the different stages and transitioning of a letter. So I would probably take this, put it here, and have something like regarding his social and medical history, he has a long term, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Long term what? You mean a long term history? Long term what? Okay. Cardiac issues, hypertension, heart disease, he has had, uh, he has had, or does he have it now? If he still, if he has it now, we don't need present perfect, has had. If he's got it now, he has, which is uncontrolled. Okay, Mr. Matisse went back, can I put the other deteriorating his physical being because he exercised, so he's in pill. Okay, again, right, right. So, again, people, why, you know, however, he denied any chest pain. No, I deny I have no chest pain. What you should put that in in a sentence, you know, instead of saying he denied any, any chest pain, that shouldn't be the opener of a sentence. Uh, additional, like he had a deteriorating blah 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 blah. Additionally, he has complained of difficulties in sleeping. However, uh, he has not experienced any chest pain. You can say that, something such as that. So I would put something like, you know, additionally, also, as well as this, he has, you know, something like uh, a 
connector such as you know as well as this also additionally or furthermore yeah uh, and put this in this sentence as well as this see is compared to girls and that's a thing and I thought me if I asked for you Jays however um, no chest pain was reported or something however he uh, uh, reported having no chest pain because instead of saying denied okay so I would probably do that not have it there right at the start of a sentence I'd put because you are a listing additional information and, um, and conditions I would have something like also as well as this furthermore additionally and then put it in that sentence there. On the examination, he was obese with swollen ankles, and his blood pressure was found to be okay. Last week, it was also detected. In addition, okay, in view of the above possibility, thus I am referring him to your management. Well, referring him for your urgent assessment. Okay, okay, that's not too. Uh, that's not too bad. Let's have a look at the um, the word count. Let me see. 244, so you can, you can cut it down. I mean, look, there's a lot of words in that paragraph. We could easily lose a sentence, maybe 10 or 15 words there, a few words here and there. 244, it's a little bit long, a little bit long. We could maybe cut 20 or so words out of that, I think, with not a lot of difficulty. By instead of having these sentences, you know, you can you can you can join these we could probably put these three sentences into a single sentence and maybe lose maybe 20 words and bring the word count down yeah okay so not 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 too bad if we compare the previous uh, letter which i forgot it's two to do 222 so that's a couple of sentences or one long sentence so not so bad the same you know we could maybe cut that down a bit and um, somebody posted this dr. Karen Poor, I think in the channel so uh, I I copied it and put it here for our assessment so 219 okay not too bad 61 year old man with Simon Simpson consistent uh, okay, I see. So I would probably now it should have a DOB there, in which case we wouldn't have to say this because it would be here. Uh, again, urgent assessment. I would put urgent assessment at the start. I am referring Mr. Mateus to you for urgent assessment, and I am. Uh, requesting your urgent assessment for Mr. Mateus, then you could make it a relative clause whose signs and symptoms are consistent. Now, I know examiners like this. They, they like conditional sentences. They like compound sentences. They like you to use conjunctions. They'd like you to use relative clauses and relative, you know, uh, relative clauses within a sentence because it shows good grammar so I I would I would probably do that I would rework that to make a, a relative clause such as in the last one thank you for seeing or thank you for urgently seeing blah 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 whose features are consistent with yeah so that's good I have a relative clause whose features are Always good to increase your score. Okay. Oh, yeah. Assessment, Mrs. Mick was 55 years. However, why is this two sentences? Why is it not one? And why um, do you put it before this? So we should have, in terms of his social medical history, he has blah, blah, blah. It should be noted that blah, blah, blah. And also, and put the smoker part, put it here. Yeah, and make it a single sentence. 
There's no need for two. Today he presented a complaint which leads hmm, which leads to decrease the ability. Oh dear, this is a bit uh, lengthy. Which leads to decrease the ability of exercise tolerance. So you mean he can't exercise as much? Okay, uh, he put in there, which has led, oh, which means he he is unable to exercise or something. But we need to change that. That's uh, not so good in terms of the phrasing. So I would certainly change that. It's a little bit long. Which means he cannot exercise or uh, also he is unable to exercise he said it leads to decrease the ability of exercise okay uh, so a, again two short sentences short 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 why don't why aren't they in a single sentence okay it's just examination that they in, in both his ankles in his both ankles in both his ankles yeah, no, it's his BP Again, two short sentences. They don't like it when you've got two short sentences because it looks like notes. And they want you to write complete sentences. Okay. And then some queries. Don't have to contact me. Okay, okay. So, not too bad, not too bad. Just a couple of things I would maybe reword. So, excellent. Now, do we have any questions? So I'm going to bring this over here, bring the group chat box. So now it's question time. I've got three letters. I don't have any more. Oh, so does anybody have any questions about grammar? Anything? What if, um, well, I, I think your letters on a different, uh, different, Subject, I think. I'm not sure. I think your letter is a different subject. So, if you follow in the group what we're doing, Dr. J is posting a letter. So, it is the same. Well, you should post it in the group. Post it in the group. I, I well, don't blame me. Joseph said, right, I ask him what letters do we have, and he sends me them. That's how it works. All right, if I don't have them, I don't have them. Well, you post it twice. Well, <laughs> and that's got to do with like me. Joseph sends me the letters, right? He knows who's posted what and in what order. That's how it works. Yeah. He knows who's posted what, and he sends it to me in order. So I don't, I don't know. Um, well, yes, in private, but you know, I haven't got time for that. If you post it in the group, I'll take a look at it. Right. So, is it the same? Is it? Is it? Is it the same? It's. It's. It's about this, Mister Mateus. Yeah, let me have a look because you know I haven't got all night. Let's have a look. All right, what did people post? All right, I was looking, collecting letters, uh, not doing that one. I can't add. A comment to uh, a photograph. Dr. Karen Poor, I copied hers, evaluated hers. I was having a look. I was going, look, I can't see anything. Where is it? Mm, is this one yours? All right, okay. Just because you ask, I'll copy it out and we'll have a look at it now. Okay. Is there anybody else's? Again, I haven't got time. Joseph sends me what he he has. Okay, so right, let's have a look at this one then. Seeing as you asked, oops, hang on, I have to turn the changes off first. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 
and we'll take a look at it now, right? I didn't say that I wouldn't, it's because I didn't see it. Okay, right, so, Layla, yeah, this one's yours. Okay, let's have a look at it. Right, first, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's check the word count first, see what we've got. Okie doke. 206, okay, that's good. Thank you for assessing. Why do you have assessment twice? Assessing, assessing, assessing. Okay, this is just a cute heart failure. Uh, well, if we had the date of birth, we wouldn't need this. Signs and symptoms suggestive of acute heart failure. We're going to assessment manager. Again, you know, why do we have this here? I would put it here. Thank you for urgently assessing or thank you know. So I would, you know, I would put that here instead of having it also here. Thank you, Lee, for uh, urgently assessing. So we don't need that. Okay, so we can cut that down. Okay, that sounds good. Just of acute heart failure. So that is good. Again, you know, I know examiners uh, like relative, oh, sorry, 10 minutes left. All right, so we'll have to, we'll finish this and open up for questions. So yeah, urgently assessing, okay, it's good. Today, Alan, don't use his first name unless it's a child. Uh, Mr. Mateus. Then subsequent mention, pronoun he, him, his. So only put the first name if it's a child. Mr. Mateus went to me, his ability of exercise, ability to exercise, well, his ability of exercise, a tolerance. I don't know if that's an ability. His ability to exercise or his tolerance of exercising or something. Bilateral edema. During the past, so uh, he had. Does he have it still? He he has it still. All right, and he had bilateral edema in his ankles during the past two months. So if he so he has it now. He's got it now. Yeah, and he has so presented to me complaining of eyes, as well as bilateral edema. So you can just do something such as that, as well as. Instead of saying, and he had, blah, 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 as well as bilateral edema in his ankles uh, for the past two months or something. Okay, so that's not too bad. Okay, okay. In addition, and again, why do we have this is, you know, why is this a second sentence? You could put all this stuff in together. Single sentence. Having a, examined him, don't tell him, but is that supposed to be a murmur? Is it uh, a murmur? Mm. More of a beta vapor picture of uh, So why, right? Was, why do we have all these short sentences? You know, short sentence, short sentence, short sentence. You could put all. You could put right. You could put all this stuff into a single sentence, right? You can cut this down into a single sentence and you could put this down into possibly one maybe two sentences instead of having all these short sentences and you can show conjunctions relative clauses etc subordinate clauses you know instead of having short 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 okay uh, he had done you mean he had because he had done that is causative. Should be noted after he had a mind to enter, he had a angiography. Um, it should be noted that after he had a mind, he had a uh, right instead of using he had. I mean, I know it's it's parallel the structure, but it's kind of boring for the reader. He had he he had. You could make this second clause make it passive. An angiograph was conducted. Or something, yeah. So you could, uh, instead of having parallel structures, you could make this. It's uh, a passive. Say, may I further remind you? Well, uh, you don't need to 
remind, it means, if you remind, it means that you have said something before. So you're not reminding him, you're telling him for the first occasion. So may I, inf uh, I would also, uh, you see like, please note uh, for your information, etc. you know. And again, I would add this on. It's worth, men right, so what's all this? It's worth mentioning, may I remind you? There's no need, you know, you could, you could get all this into two sentences, yeah? You could get this into one sentence and you can maybe add that at the end. Deeply appreciated, well, again, you don't need these adverbs. He's gonna do his job. You don't have to deeply, highly, kindly, just say, I would appreciate it, um, you know, can you do this? Can you assess it? That's it. Uh, and treat patients as you deem appropriate. I, I have enclosed a list of indications for your perusal. So, not too bad, not too bad. I would watch the sentences. Some are too short, some you can put the information into a single sentence. One or two, so yeah. I keep an eye out on um, our further seminars and you will see some examples of good practice, good writing practice. We've had a few today. If you refer back to the videos, uh, the, the, the previous two, you will see some, we've had some good examples. So um, have we got Anything else people want to, to ask about? I'll come back for a second. You can see me though. It's not that important. I'm not that handsome. Um, so what do we have here? I've got some questions. Let's have a look. Questions, questions. You can, I can turn your microphone on if you'd rather, rather speak got four minutes left okay so let's have a look what questions have we got um, he experienced no chest pain he has reported sleepless nights that's good yeah, yeah is it necessary to write two sentences no no you can do it in a single sentence as you've seen some of those examples you've got two clauses your main Clause, I'm writing to request that you, you know, so you've got your subject, your verb, and your object. Then you've got the secondary clause, subordinate clauses, a relative clause, whose signs and symptoms are, etc. So no, you can, in, you know, you can have a single sentence as in those examples that we've just uh, seen. And your kind assessment, as opposed to an unkind, assessment so no as long as this case doesn't say my name a doctor dear cardiologist <laughs> no dear cardiologist right these notes were not so good i don't know where they came from but the proper ones will have the name it'll have all the information on i wouldn't say you know dear cardiologist dear surgeon no we wouldn't uh, full case notes would have the name of the person who you are writing to. So, can we write as he had had angioplasty? What? Why would we be using past perfect? Only if you had a secondary um, event. Quited, quitted, or quit? I think he he quit. Two sentences. No, answered that that um, one. Has has had refers to a continuous event. Well, has had present perfect. Yeah, has been done only once. It's finished. Right. So we've got a couple of minutes. Anybody got any 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 questions? Anybody want to ask anything quickly, quickly before we go? No. Right. So, oh, hang on, Shahid. 
Yes, uh, Dr. Kevin. Sorry, no, Mr. Kevin. Actually, uh, I was uh, thank you for you correcting my letter and you uh, my answer you corrected also. Uh, so, in one sentence, we can use past simple and uh, present perfect in one sentence. There's no problem. And like the, I. Yeah. Like I, I pose one example. He experienced no chest pain. However, he has uh, uh, he has reported sleepless nights because there is time for is given for the last few days. Yeah, yeah. So the first reportage he experienced none, and then he is telling you. So uh, one use of present perfect is to connect past and present. So that would be fine. Water. Um, I will. I will correct your uh, letters tomorrow and send them to you. Okay, so uh, okay. that's what Thank I will you. do for yours. So, right, this is going to end in a second, almost out of time. So, I'm going to post the video in a minute and I'll put the corrections in the channel. And uh, I'll see you, see you in in Telegram uh, in a second because we're nearly out of time. It's going to end. Now.